must run control. No kidding. Hey guys, welcome back. I know this one's going to be a little bit late going up, but again, I wanted to keep my promise about daily Box Wars updates. I finally got the poster board needed for the templates the other day, and ta-da, here it is. There's the template for the legs. Again, I need to do some trimming for the inside, but yeah, it's like a giant key or a giant uh, microphone or something along those lines. But there's this template for the leg, and so I was able to trace out four leg outlines. I'm gonna be trimming a couple of these so that they're more accurate. But yeah, there's, there's four of these. And yeah, I found this gigantic piece of cardboard under my bed that I completely forgot about, so I don't have to buy more cardboard in order to do R2-D2, and that makes me so relieved. I haven't finished with his feet yet. I'm going to wait until tomorrow to cut these out because, honestly, I'm terrified. <laughs> I think I'm going to go molasses speed when it comes to cutting on the curves, just so I know I'm 100% accurate because I do not want to screw these up. Not at all. And I'm going to borrow a large metal square, I think it's a drywall square, that's big and heavy, and it can sit on here, and I can tape it down so it won't move when I'm cutting the straight lines, because that's been my biggest problem, cutting. My hands aren't steady at all. As to how I figured out how to cut the curves for the top and the bottom, we didn't have anything to trace, I don't have a compass, and I'm terrible with it anyway, and I don't have any string to make a string compass, and my hands aren't very steady anyway. So what I did is I grabbed a couple scraps of cardboard and measured from a hole punched out to a little pinhole where I stuck a thumbtack through, stuck it through to another layer, held it down, and then stuck a pencil into the hole and went around on the edge, and bingo! perfect half circle. So if any of you guys are trying to figure out how to do a dome or a circle or something like that and draw one when you don't know anything about math and you don't have steady hands, that's something to remember. I'm definitely going to use this again whenever I cut out circles in the future. Yes, unfortunately that's all. It's getting late. I'm getting tired again and following your advice I'm going to be getting some sleep. Again, I'm sorry I didn't do anything about this yesterday, but I was so excited to tell you guys about the plans for the train. I kind of forgot. Uh, more coming tomorrow. Hopefully I can cut these legs out and maybe start assembling them. I need, do need to find a spacer to put the top to hold the two pieces apart so I can drill through it and hold the legs onto the body with something. I haven't figured out what yet. I'm kind of winging this, but... Progress. Any progress is better than none at all. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm coming up really close on 900. Still want to try and hit 1,000 by the end of the year. Any day now, I'm going to have my bank account set up so I can get my first paycheck from Google. Thank you! And then I'll have a little bit more money to work with, especially for the upcoming trip. More on that later. But that's all for today, and until next time, this is the Clumsy Jedi signing off. Night, guys.